<clears throat> well, hi guys, and as you can see, we've got a new, uh, a new video, a new series for the channel. Welcome to Drag Racer V3. So this was literally the pinnacle of my uh, high school years. I played this way back, god, about 15 years now. It's pretty old. It used to be online, but obviously it's it's that old. I don't think the page even exists. In fact, the people who developed it went bankrupt <laughs> like, like two years after it went out or something, so it's long gone or something. I did a bit of research and apparently a lot of other people were saying the same thing. Uh, this literally is the pinnacle of their, you know, their growing up years. It's, it was really fun, this game. Um, I started playing it back a couple of days ago uh, because I've actually got it, as you can imagine, on my computer because it's not actually available online anymore. Uh, hold on. Why is it? I've got no signal. Uh, so here's my file here. I've got two folders. That one's the main one. That one's the backup one. Um, so yeah. Um, I need to wait for the screen to come back on. This takes forever. Well, that actually came on perfect. Cool. Um, so yeah, this came out, God knows what, 2004 or 5? It's years old. Um, so, uh, you've got different modes, you've got arcade mode, which means you can just take any car, do whatever you want with it, no funds, or you can go to tuner mode, which is what we're going to be doing, uh, so we'll put in our name, and I'm actually going to go medium for this, and the first thing I'm going to do is pause that, because it's copyright music. <laughs> Obviously, so you can see quite a lot of things are missing. Uh, first thing I want to do is go over to options and disable that because that's an issue. Uh, well, it's, in theory you can do it, but because this game is quite old, it doesn't really work too well. I mean, the, the gear changes don't happen if you let go of it. It, it doesn't work properly. So, um. I'm going to go for a nice car. It doesn't really matter what car we go for because at the end of the day they're all going to be the same uh, top speed. So I might just go for a uh, Nissan maybe? What's the cheapest? Uh, I might just go for the Sentra. So, bye. So what I, I have noticed when I started playing it the other day is if you go to, well you can see we've got garage where you can like, tune the car which we're actually going to do the right now. How I actually set my cars up, once you've actually got boost you can do this properly but what you do is you tune them like this right and then uh, you put that up, then you put temperature, temperature, and I don't, I've never really like known the difference between these two, but I usually go high revs, uh, so that's the tuning done. So you can also paint the car if you want, uh, you can view the car, you can check the garage, which obviously we've not got anything in it right now. So if we go to the car show, right? Uh, what I tend to do, you, see, you can see we've got like zero stats right now. Speed, exterior, interior, sound, overall, so everything's pretty low. What you have noticed is, say for example, right, we go to exterior, right? So you can see we've got 5,400, and I just by whatever we can get is 650 
Then we've got Vang, Exhaust, Interior. I usually go for the one seat. Then we'll get uh, side skirts, roll cage. Right, so watch the money, right? Nothing. Right, and then we do the same thing for the interior, we just max these out. Pay, nothing. And then if we go back to car show, you can see the exterior and the interior have now increased. So I don't know if that's a bug or something, but that's what I've noticed re recently, that <laughs> they don't cost anything, even though this says they do. Um, so what I want to start doing is start racing but I think we need boost because uh, store parts uh, I don't know if I've never actually tried it this way but we can try it I tend to not buy too much at the start because I'm work but I tend to work towards the engine. So if you click on it it says complete level thirty in single races, which is this one. So we need to complete all the races in order to actually uh gain access to the engines. So before I actually do that, I'm actually going to take it to the time track. And I'm actually going to test So not done is actually put nitro in the car. You always be make sure you've got nitro. <laughs> uh, so we go back to tech. So it should have took us sixteen seconds but it took us twenty five. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, obviously we need to get more money for the actual um, upgrades on the car. I don't know if we to win this though. Okay. So if we can win a couple of these, uh, try and get some money. Gonna do I'm actually just gonna run these guys over for a grand. I'm just gonna save this. Uh we don't have enough. <laughs> That's true. Five oh five. So we'll basically double our cash here. So we should now have over a thousand. So we'll just do it this way. I don't want to take too many competitions because we'll end up losing a lot of money. But if we can start making some improvements to the engine, then we can start taking like pink slips, and then that will get us like more uh, cars. So if we just keep offering a thousand. So we'll get 3,000 now. So we'll just keep doing that. So we don't lose anything. Obviously we're going really slow right now, but once we actually start get performance parts onto the car, uh, we'll be fine. So let's see what can we get for four thousand. So we can get the drivetrain. Uh, 
we get a boost? No, we can't because it's 6,000. Can we get an ECU? We can't. So that should expand us a bit. Can we go 1,500? It was going to catch us, but it just kept going. So there's 1500. Right, so we'll just keep racing. So it was at 6000, I think, and we did for the next thing, so. Yeah. We'll we'll get to the next tier of cars and then we can race them. But I don't feel that, that we'll have a big end up the car. <laughs> we are doing some decent times though. Right, so we'll go and buy that performance parts was in here, the boost controller. Right, ignition. So you have 320, hot wires, and racing sparks. Right. So let's see that what that does to us now. So we've got 180 horsepower. I don't. What was it off the bat? Centra. Uh, so we have added some horsepower to it compared to the standard one. Right. So give it another quick save. <laughs> so it's getting quicker. <laughs> That's much better. Perfect time, 23 seconds, we've done it in name. <laughs> So we'll just keep racing. <laughs> now alternatively, you can go to the showroom. This doesn't cost any money despite it saying that it costs you money. Uh, what I also tend to do is have at least 2.5 million potential visitors. Now you always go for this one because even though it says it costs you a thousand credits, it doesn't actually cost you anything. It's the same as the vehicle's interior and exterior, it it doesn't cost you anything. So I need to go to the toilet anyway, so I'll quickly let this run down and by the time I come back we'll get some money for nothing basically. There we go, five grand. That's not too bad. <laughs> That's what I like about them. If you don't have anything in the engine, they just call you a fake, basically. <laughs> but yeah, um, I was also going to say this uh, game is pretty much influenced by Fast and the Furious. Because when you get it maxed out, 
uh, people will say it should have been in Too Fast, Too Furious. And also, I didn't realise until when I played it the other day, there's actually an event, an ev uh, a tournament. Uh, it's obviously not here, but uh, they've got a tournament called Race Wars, which is basically from Fast and the Furious. <laughs> so yeah, you can tell it's quite heavily based off it. Anyway, so just keep pacing. <laughs> Definitely getting quicker. Uh, store parts. Uh, we have a bit ignition, I think. Well, we'll get ten grand to spend. We've got that one. Got that one. Got that one. That's the engine then. Oh, that one. Fifteen hundred. Then fuel. Oil cooler, fuel pump, exhausts. Actually, the catalyst is expensive. Three hundred. Okay, catalysts are usually quite expensive. From what I know from car mechanics simulator. So what we have to do now is we need to do the turbocharger first, which we should be able. To and then we go on induction because you actually need the turbocharger before you can get the induction. It's just the way they've put it, although we can't get the race color. So we'll take it back over here and we should be much quicker now because we just spent about 10 grand. <laughs> So we're not completely fast, we could be much quicker than this, but we've still got a lot to do. Let's see, up a thousand. We're getting there though, we're below 10 seconds. let the oil temperature go up. See, I think we're actually in, in an exit of cars now, so we can maybe gamble 2,000 here. <laughs> yep, two grand, thank you. See, I think, uh, actually that's a pay tail. If we go to the store, or dealership, sorry. Yeah, the Nissan 240SX was the last one in our category. So the rest of these are all in the next category. So these are going to be worth a bit more money. So we'll get another bit of money and then we'll upgrade the engine some more. Somewhere, enter colour. And take. And then suspension. Tires. See, I'm. Don't really need any more nitrous, so just uh, reduce the weight now. The weight's quite expensive though. We should be able to get most of these. Yeah, I think that'll do. So if we actually look, we're at 476 horsepower now. It's not a massive amount. 
but you know, hey ho. Three eight nine. Just in case we lose. <laughs> again because we're actually going to risk the car for this one. <laughs> so I knew that was going to happen so we'll just come off it. Go back on. Get ready to pause the song. Um, so we'll try it again shall we? Not 77,000, I don't even have that. <laughs> no, screwed it again. <laughs> this is why I always save it. Stop. I hope that doesn't get clogged, I'm sure it won't. Uh, come on. Mitsubishi as well. It's not much more horsepower, is it? Just gonna sell that. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna keep. What was it? 988. See, we could probably do with that one. should have a decent amount of power in it. Come on, two, two and a half thousand and your car. Let's go. Thank you. I'll take your Mustang. So we'll drive the Mustang for now. I'll keep the other one but we'll drive the Mustang. Um, so we go in the tuning, set the gears, if you don't set the gears your car's overheat and it dies, basically. Uh, what are we actually at? 20 minutes in, we'll do one more race and then we'll stop. <laughs> Three seconds. <laughs> That's a quick one, that one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I think we'll end it here, folks. Thank you all very much for watching. If you are interested and you want to play this game or you want to play it again, uh, let me know in the comments of this video. Um, if people do want it, I will put the actual game, the, the installation on... Dropbox and anyone who wants it can install it and play it for themselves. It's a fun little game. I, as I said, I played it years ago and it really is a fun game to play. Uh, it's so good. Um, it's yeah. Uh, when we come back, we'll just continue doing these drag races until we get to the very bottom. Then we can start putting in the new engine. Because when, when you put a new engine into the car, it resets the stats, so you need to buy all the parts again. So that's why I didn't I don't want to put too much into it. Um, so yeah, uh, until next time, take care. Goodbye for now. <laughs>